What's up, everybody? Tipper said, Welcome And today is Monday, December 1st, the 335th day of the year. Yep, and there's 30 more days left in 2014. Um, and yet, today is the. First of the month. <laughs> and today's. Uh, um, National eat, eat a red apple day. Yep, today's National Eat a Red Apple Day, so it's not completely red, but um, yeah, you get the idea. Mm. Today is also Cyber Monday. What? You know what Cyber, Cyber Monday is? Hmm. Cyber Monday is where you can buy a lot of things on special online, kind of like Black Friday. <clears throat> and today in 1860, uh, the Charles Dickens novel, The Great Expectation, was published uh, as a weekly form. It was so long that it was published as a weekly form. And today in 1955, um, Rosa Parks, a black seamstress, uh, was arrested um, in Montgomery, Alabama after refusing to give up her seat. You know, back in the 50s, um, there was a lot of um, people that didn't like, um, a lot of white people that didn't like um, black people. So um, they had like, like special drinking fountains for colored people, like that were really nasty and ugly. And then they had like the white, the tricky fountain for white people. So um, Rosa Parks was on her way, I think she was on her way home from work and she was on the bus and she was really tired. So she had a seat and somebody, a uh, black white person came up to her and told her to get up and give, give up her seat and she didn't want to. So um, she was arrested because she didn't want to give up her seat in the bus. Oh. Yep, and because of that, um, all, <clears throat> um, all the all the colored people did a boycott, which um, means they didn't use the buses for a whole year. So the the people who owned the buses lost a lot of money because a lot of colored people rode the bus. So that's today's national. Um, today in 1955, Rosa Parks um, was arrested, <clears throat> and today in 19. 1969, the U.S. government held its first first draft lottery since World War II. Um, the draft lottery is when there's war and and the military doesn't have enough soldiers. What they do is they pick out names, and if your name is picked out, you get to go to war. It's crazy, huh? They haven't done it since 1969, but if, if, if for some reason the U.S. went to war and they didn't have enough, they don't have enough soldiers, there would be a, a, a draft. You you wouldn't go to, to war because you're too young, but um, like people um, 18 and over would go to war if they get drafted. 18? Mm-hmm. What? If you're 18? Yeah. And 10 years ago, um, Tom Brokaw um, signed off for the last time as a principal anchor of the NBC Nightly News. Um, he used to give out the news in, on NBC. Yeah. He did it for a very long time, long time, and 10 years ago he did his last show as a, broad, as a news broadcaster on NBC. And today in... Birthdays. Today in birthdays, Janelle Monet, um, singer Janelle Monet is turning... 29. Uh, football player Deshaun Jackson is turning 20. And actress Zoe Kravitz is turning 26. She was on X-Men First Class and she's also the daughter of a singer named Lenny Kravitz. Mm -hmm. And actress Sarah Silverman is turning 44. You know who she is? She does the voice for the little girl from Rick and Ralph. Penelope? Penelope? Is her name? No. No. No? Oh, she's the voice of, of the little girl. 
And director Woody Allen is turning. 79. 79, yep. Woody. Woody. <laughs> and actor Deep Roy is turning 57. He's the guy um, in Willy Wonka and Chocolate Factory. He's the, the guy that played the Oompa Loompas. Oh. And my friend Doreen Johnson is also celebrating her birthday. I don't know how old she is, but. Cool. She's my, she used to be my boss for a very long time. And one of our favorite persons in the world. Who's that? The Franco. <laughs> Philip the Franco. It's also celebrating his birthday today. He's turning... 29. Yep, 29. Um, Phil DeFranco is somebody we watched a lot on YouTube. And we saw him for real life. We saw him, yep. We saw him at his show, Philip DeFranco Does LA. We actually met him backstage, huh? Yeah, thanks. Yep. Um, he's um, somebody that really um, inspired us to do what we do. Um, he also owned... He's, um, Owner of SourceFed and SourceFed Nerd, so he's turning 29. One of my favorite YouTubers, um, and that's pretty much it for today. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our, to our channel, and also um, go like our Facebook page. And what if we, what if we end this show like Philip DeFranco? How does he, how does he end the show? Mm, you forgot? No. But as always, my name's Philip DeFranco. You've just been filled in. I love your faces and I'll see you tomorrow. I love your faces and I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>